Oh yeah. Sorry for that. <coughs> okay. So I just I read it like a fear of compassion. I also I think like uh, important to talk on that. Last time I read it, um, because people don't have enough the brave to you know continue to generate compassion, and then in the middle they get fear. So that's some fear here. It's a um, he identified means like Gilbert identified three kind of fear of compassion. Fear of compassion from others, from us, uh, oh, so fear of compassion for others, from others, and for oneself. So these three things. And then the first one is the fear of compassion for others. People will take advantage of me if I'm too compassionate and forgiving. That's what people definitely think, right? So, um, if I'm too compassionate, others will become dependent on me. Yeah, that's fine. So, and then I cannot tolerate others' distress. distress. And then people should help themselves rather than waiting for us, uh, others to help them. And then they, there are some people in life who who do not deserve compassion? Okay, mm -hmm. so there's this this four. Let's talk on this four. Um, like also, I'd like to hear from your um, opinions and suggestion on that. The first one say people will take advantage of me if I'm too compassionate and forgiving. So, but is this right or wrong? <laughs> That's the same thing, right? That's the people think. Then therefore say, oh. I don't want to do compa too much compassionate. So, um, but this is depend on how much you have experience of compassion. If you really have compassion, uh, like a really compassionate person or truly compassionate person, this all these fears never come because they totally give up themselves to other beings. You know, I just give up. So when they give up, then they will feel more joy when they found the opportunity to help. Someone taking advantage, right, to own out, they will feel more happy. Um, they are not complaining, or they are taking advantage for me. So, so right now, most of people, all, all of us, thinking that they are taking advantage for me if I feel compassionate. So, what I think is one is we are do not we do not have a truly compassionate experience that we don't know, and then uh, we still we are too much um, the mix with the attachment and hatred things that you know uh, disturbing us to have the, having enough brain to face into compassion to others, right? <clears throat> but you, you can do something else here. The, that if people think you, if you think if people take advantage, you don't have to give up your compassion, though, right? You don't have to continue to keep your compassion um, uh, to whoever. And then um, what you can do, not let them take advantage. It's taking advantage is actually your opportunity to have compassion or practicing compassion. But still, you are not comfortable on that. Then I think. Um, Controlling your uh, expression of emotion. You are happy it shows too much when you said, and then your emotion also shows express. So not to, and then just um, uh, that's the many. Um, when I was young, I saw many um, like a compassionate person. Gene and compassionate person, they are talking less, and their face always goes kind of like a, not that much smiling, you know. Then I thought, how come compassion person not that much smiling, mm -hmm. smiling, and how come compassionate person not that much talking? That's what I thought when I was young, and then I'm keep thinking and keep thinking. Then say, okay, there are skillful way to, you know. Stay away from that problem. Uh, 
they are skillful to keeping compassion continuously. So, because they are not that much strong compassion, and then doing practicing, and then also uh, mixing with the worldly concerning, and then all this negative emotion. Uh, so they, you know, they while they're doing practice, they they try to stop the, any kind of obstacle to generating compassion. Therefore, taking advantage that is, then it's it's being obstacle, it's disturbing to generate compassion continuously. Therefore, they less talk and then face not that smile. That people will not take advantage to you. That's I found it actually. That's my thought again. Um, but inside, continuously compassion and generate compassion. And when people ask, come you and need help, you help it. And then, then again, not too much express your emotion. That will make balance. That's our thought. What do you think? <laughs> this makes balance. Not let them take advantage. Means like not let them uh, be obstacle to generating your compassion, and then your compassion will be continuous, right? But when you become a strong compassion, then I think no problem. The taking advantage is this opportunity for you. Yeah, but what do you mean if you're not smiling or in? and you're not talking very much, people would think that maybe you're not friendly or, or wouldn't that? Yeah, that thing not friendly, it's okay. But, you know, someone asks you uh, help. Okay. Do help, right? That's what they will see. One people will see, and two people will see, three people will see. You help people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you help unconditionally, nothing expresses anything that you help. That's what people see. Yeah, right? what about the person that wants your help and then sees, thinks that you're not friendly and you're causing them affliction by not wanting to ask for your help? Yeah, yeah. That's why I think it's like a, a help us to generate having con con continuous compassion. You know, so there are like a many million, million human beings there, right? And helping all human beings, maybe I don't have a capacity. That. Uh -huh. And then uh, my capacity is I can I can help one people at one at a time, right? So uh, then you know that for um, control your expression emotion. That that I thought makes you balanced until you get strong compassion, right? But um, strong compassion means here I'm talking who are really practicing compassion, who wants to generate compassion continuously. That's I thought, okay, do it, something like that at the beginning. So then when you become a compassion strong, then I don't think it's a problem. Not a problem to express your emotions? Uh, no, not the problem if someone takes it when it's true. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you will be happy then. Because um, the compassion aspect or thought is like this. Um, always searching that how I can help others. And someone come in front of you to taking advantage, that they feel it's opportunity for me because I'm keep looking how I can help. So then someone comes to you, not to your door, to helping, asking. Way different way, taking advantage, right? Not really asking and requesting or not respecting, but asking different way to knocking your door, right? It's like it's hitting your head and helping. This is different, right? So requesting and help me, and then hit your head and help me. This is different. It's advantage is hit your head and saying help me, help me. So that's what they will feel it. So therefore, yeah, that actually, that fear is very um, reasonable, or it comes in all family, because as we are a human being, we just have a lot of negative emotion, right? Okay, that's the first thing I thought. Um, not let them take advantage until I grow my compassion perfectly, and then, but continuously generate my compassion. Do practice and do practice. And um, someone feel that, as you said, you are not friendly, and then you see that, and inside generate compassion. So, and then, you know, it's also. The smile is good actually, right? What is one is good thing? 
but not necessarily always smile. And then also, uh, what I'm found here, uh, we very much like the animals, isn't it? Dog and cat, we very much like the animals. Um, the one thing, their face is always there. Not change our emotion, not affect it, right? Whether they're happy or whether they're sad, the face is there, almost, right? So, and then uh, we don't know they're happy or they don't. But the facing keeps same is not effect to us to change our emotion. Otherwise, the human being, when they're sad, they express different face comes that affect to us. When they're happy, it's different. When they're angry, a different face comes and affect to us, right? But not animals. Like a cat, which we have here, mm. same face always. <laughs> yeah. Always same face. Yeah. <laughs> they might have anger sometimes, they might have a, a sad, they might have a happy, but the place is same. Yeah. Cats especially are the same. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs have more personality. Okay. Oh, I have to breed there. I have so many wonderful cats that have a lot of personality. Oh, okay. oh I see, I see. Okay. All different personalities, too. Personality means you change the face? Uh, not to change the face, the attitude. Attitude, yes. Yes. Friendly, so, not friendly, mad, not mad, sad, play. Uh huh. Different. They're uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, but I, I'm not that much attention our cat, but <laughs> they are the cat comes the asking food, and then comes meow meow, and then means food, then <laughs> eat the food, and then done. We are done. <laughs> and then cat goes to his place. I go my room, then we done. Right? <laughs> so if we too much attach on that, then uh, when the case like uh, upset and go somewhere, they will come back to you. That's that again, right? So, but it's not the pie's pit. It's more by attitude, right? Like an action, the physical action. The pit uh, is um, not really affect your eye. That's the way I'm thinking. Okay, sometimes. It's good that our face keeps staying. Inside, you can be happy, you can be joy, you can be sad, you can be angry, but try to keep face same. That's one thing that's good for uh, like a society. What I think, again, <laughs> this is uh, one thing that's good that not affected them, their, their emotion, and another thing, not let them take advantages to me, and another thing, I can continue to generate my compassion. The keeping faith is there. <laughs> hmm. That's my thought. Let's see, right? You can, you can research. You can research like there some some are uh, um, so some people there is face most of the time is same. You smile always like a smile like this, you know, and not smile always like this. I can see many in our. Uh, the monastery, mm -hmm. them keeping the same face. You know, when they have a smile, always keep smile and smile and smile. Doesn't matter what have I in the what emotion arises inside, but the face keeps smile. And then some are like a normal face, it keeps normal. Right? So that's I think it's good thing to do it. But let's see. You test it, you research it, then see what happens. It's good things then you can do it. Uh, yeah, that's my thought, the solution for first fear, right? To take advantage for me, I'm too compassionate and forgiving. But of course, you should forgive always. Never give up. You should compassion always. But taking advantage is annoying to you. That's the solution, right? Um, and then next, second one thing, if I'm too compassionate, other will become a depend on me. Actually, it's good, you know. <laughs> so, um, but other would depend on you, like they, um, that depending on you all this money, right? Keep asking you, give me money, give me money, give me money. Um, but you know, uh, again, could we have uh, some solution there? You know, keep people ask, give money with compassion, without fighting. Without yelling and scolding, there are some solution there to, you know, that find the balance and middle way.
So do you think it's any balance there? If people ask you always money, money, and money, right? That's um, depend on you, one thing. Uh, they can be taking an example like that, be asking you money. And then too much asking that sometimes you are run out of money, then problem, right? So, but how you can take that balance? Continuously compassion, you know, and then forgiveness, but not let them too much depend on me. Uh, how you can balance on that? Mm -hmm. That's true. That's very really true. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. They don't have to keep that one too. But without let them like a, a upset, yeah. how you can deal with it in the middle way. So, uh, but my thought is, um, you give the money at the same time, you act that um, I'm not that rich, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes you can wear that like a the cloth. What you have to <laughs> that's the technique. <laughs> the technique that continues to keep compassion, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can wear that, no problem, to show out that I'm not that rich. Um, let them understand too by your action, not the verbal. You know, if the verbal um, people not trust actually. When we stay, mm -hmm. when see it, it's big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Staying is they might think all that's negative, most of the time negative. Oh, they deceiving me or they're lying or what is that. They don't say anything, let them see it, then they think, oh, it gives something, right? That's one thing good, uh, for example, like a taking, like a, too, too, too much relying on you. Um, and then also, sometimes we can have conversation uh, between the people who are asking, right? Like a gently. People have understand. People are all the equal that we have an uh, understanding mind, right? We have a wisdom. They will understand. But their habit actually comes again. <laughs> we even they understand. But you know, that's some solution that I, uh, I think is one technique. Let compassion continuously keep it. And then um, too much relying on you, show that you are not capable. Whatever they rely on you through by action, not the verbal. I think one is, is good thing. <laughs> what do you think? I'm sharing my thoughts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right? So see, it's test. Whatever I get is a test. I think um, okay. Um, that's the second I thought the second solution. Um, but they might have more solutions. If we have more, if we have more discussion on that, we found more solutions. So we have more things, right? That's the second. And then I cannot to tolerate others' distress. That's very true. That's very true. Um, I don't know then how to do it. It's the the fear comes, right? The fear comes that I cannot tolerate others' distress. What does it really mean? It means that you, you're not taking their, their distress on to, to you. you. Right, so you're mm -hmm. basically owning something that you shouldn't own. You can be compassionate for them, but that you... Ah, uh, I see, I see. This is more mental training then, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's more mental training, okay. Mm -hmm. Then not this difficult, not that difficult. Um, this is uh, how you think uh, when you have others. This is the thing. So yeah. So yeah. Therefore, like uh, many um, psychiatric psychologists are having more anger and then different emotions because they keep keep listening others, keep listening mm -hmm. others. I think they're taking same time, <laughs> you know. So that's the problem. So 
I also listen to people's problems many times, and then um, uh, it's not really, not really effective so far, uh, right? Um, so uh, because um, when I look the stopping, uh, the other stopping, it's clear that it's not my stopping; it's their stopping. But my empathy, my sadness, my worries um, goes to there. But I can take a limited that worry and sadness. That's a big help to not take all the problems to on me. Because I can take limited myself and sadness to my understanding what is there. Right? So, um, yeah, it also says here. Um, uh, Okay, page 57, right? Uh, the second paragraph after one, two, three, four, five, six, after six lines, it says, Compassion acknowledges the funda uh, fundamental truth of our human condition, that not all pain can be fixed. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what we need to know, actually. And then continuously, next few lines are letters after the same, in any case, it's always helpful to remember that some some pain and so are unavoidable, unavoidable. So understanding this, that you're not holding that sad and worry, because nothing's real. Mm -hmm. So this is help, I think, to the second one. It's that I cannot tolerate others. Yeah, distress. Actually, it's that you have to take limited your uh, sadness and worry. But compassion, as, as when we begin practice with the compassion, yes, sadness, worry always comes here. But when, like, when you achieve the compassion, the compassion I'm not talking that biological compassion. Achieve compassion is here, the compassion which is you gain through by practice. That compassion is more. Um, um, Reasonable compassion and more like a, a powerful compassion. Mm -hmm. That compassion, when you achieve that compassion, then um, so that sadness and worry is not affected. Some sadness comes, not affected to you. But today, right now, before we generate compassion, before we achieve compassion, that sadness and worry affected to make me suffering, I guess, <coughs> right? But it's not making me suffering. It's the same exactly. Um, like how parents take care of children. Mm -hmm. You know, they're seeing problem, but they're happily doing it. Not the affected. The sadness and worry is not affected. So the worry and they're doing something. Sometimes they keep worry happily um, to their children. Um, uh, you know what I say? Um, yeah, I think this is not good example. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know how to make example of that, but but yeah, when you achieve the the uh, the real compassion through that practice, it's never affected. The sadness not affected you. The sadness not cause you suffering. Uh, one reason that sadness not hold as long. That's one reason, and another reason the sadness is mixed with the more wisdom. You know, thinking how can help, thinking how can, oh, this is the solution, that is the sadness keeps busy to think. So that's not affect to have suffering. But when we have a sadness and worry, it brings us suffering because not, it's not brings us wisdom to think, and then also <coughs> um, it, we hold it long time. Mm -hmm. That's affected suffering, right? When we have a genuine compassion, um, then I think sadness and worry is not affected because it's so therefore, um, <coughs> but if, some, if someone has unavoidable pain, and there's, a, there's nothing I can do yeah. other than listen and be empathetic and yeah, be empathetic and something like that. Yeah, but it's hard not to take and take on yeah. some of their pain and feel what they're feeling yeah. for them. Yes, yes, yeah. That's what we try. We right. really try. Yeah, and then. Um, also, we can do something like a prayer wish with the empathy, right? There's something doing it, but um, 
we know it's not help, but we want to do something. Mm -hmm. So that's that you can do something like that. But definitely not take their backing up in EU. Uh, but it's not conflict then. Uh, we have a practice taking suffering up in EU, right? We have one practice giving and taking, and then taking all the suffering up in EU. It's different than when you see and then you're taking it. It's different. It's real, it's more effective because you're not that strong. If you are strong again, the taking at the moment in real, no problem again. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we should take more to the imagination and practice. It moves slow, slow, right? It's not move mm -hmm. faster and quicker. So that's the help. So uh, okay, this I think understanding this, what is the reality, is something we cannot fix, something we cannot do. Uh, that's really help you to. Free from that fear, say I cannot tolerate their disturbance. Right? Okay. So, yeah, if you, because I'm, it's more like I try to um, put in my opinion and my suggestion, but you 100% you have the right to say, okay, maybe let me think, or I dislike it, I disagree with it, partly. This is good for us to discuss it more. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so next other thing, people should help themselves rather than waiting for other help then. Why do we need compassion then? <laughs> Why do we need <laughs> compassion? No need compassion, yes. Uh, this is nothing to do with compassion. If this is not comes from compassion, fear from compassion, right? This is comes from not having compassion. This, is, this fear I not counted include to having compassion, right? So... You know, nothing to do with compassion people can say. Why not? Why not you? Do yourself. Not my problem. Yeah, not my <laughs> problem. This is nothing to do with compassion. Uh, and then the uh, last one is that there are some people in life who do not deserve compassion. Like a Hitler, do you think? A fear could be like that. Um, do not deserve compassion. What, how much high compassion is? That might be doing harm, right? That not dissolved compassion. That's 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 the meaning here, right? Mm -hmm. So, so what do you think then? How you can generate compassion continuously without this obstacle when you meet the people um, who cannot dissolve the compassion, who are whatever you do doesn't matter. They keep harms to you, keep harms to you. <laughs> Sorry. Compassion for them as a human being who is so flawed. Something is wrong with them. Uh -huh. That Hitler is like this. Uh -huh. So I can have compassion for him as this flawed human being and, and pray for him to be otherwise. Yeah. That's like a Hitler, Hitler who is past. That's more easy for us to think in compassion, but the moment who always harms to you, no matter what you did, mm. always harms to you. That, you think, is not dissolved. Do not dissolve the compassion. So, let, let not let them be an obstacle to your uh, general compassion. So, how you deal with it. This is, I think, this is the biggest problem. This is the biggest problem to generate compassion. So, of course, as we are a normal human being, ordinary human being, happening it, but even some higher level beings, even they give up compassion. One of here, um, the, the logical, called he, um He is like a, a very compassionate person, scholar and practitioner, and then he he, when he composed book, he wrote in a wall, a blue line, and he go outside, big shoe, baking, right? And then, and then coming back and continue to write, continue to write. So, then he did like a write, few lines, and then when he come back, do not skip, someone erase that. So, three times, and third time, it says, okay, now, uh, don't erase, it's in my mind, you cannot erase it forever. 
So it's always in my mind. If you want to really debate on me, you show up. Then one um, non-Buddhist scholar is there when he returns. And then they do debate, then they do debate, they do debate, right? And then the Dignag is now, of course, winning, and then um, that this is like a losing. When he's losing, then um, it says like a, uh, he, he has some kind of magic. He, the, like he fire from his mouth, and then Dignag's clothes is almost burning. Then Dignag get away upset and sad. So I cannot can handle one people. How I can do like a countless people help? How can uh, like a cherish the countless people? Even I cannot do one people. So then he decided to give up with the chida. And then he said, okay, I'm not this log. I'm throwing on this bit. And when it fell down in the earth, same time I'm giving up my bodhisattva. And when he throw it, then it's saying Manjushi takes that, and then Manjushi says, okay, don't give up, I will help. So even the practitioner can give up through by that being who really continues harming. <coughs> then as we are ordinary person, this is the biggest obstacle actually. This, this fear could be um, uh, reasonable, I think. Uh, but how we can not let it be obstacle to my generation, my compassion. That's the thing we have to keep. Um, yeah, so, but the few lines in eight verses, you know, do you remember the eight verses in mind training? Um, they are really great compassion. We cannot compare today, but we can take some like uh, advice and some encouragement from them. It says that whoever, um, the people who always uh, take care, that people even always doing for me like a harm and disrespect, all the things, I will continuously cherish them. Um, I don't remember exactly the line. Uh, do you have a Edward's is my training? I remember it gets left. Uh, Sean, okay. Uh, do you have it? Uh, the, the verse you mean is uh, even if someone I have helped or in whom I have placed great trust mistreats uh -huh. me very unjustly, I will view that person to be a true spiritual teacher. Yes. Oh, also, then next one. What is this next one? Uh, next one is uh, in brief. Directly and indirectly. Oh, no, no. I think then maybe before that one, before that line. Oh, before, um, whenever someone out of envy does me harm by attacking or belittling me, I will take defeat upon myself and give the victory to others. Yeah, this is beautiful line, but we cannot do right now, right? <laughs> we cannot do today. But it's, thinking is, it's a lot of encouragement, right? And then it's, sometimes help to when you meet that kind of obstacle. But one time, two times, you shouldn't count it. When you generate compassion, it comes back to you one time, do not count it. Ten times, then, you know, think. Mm. <laughs> so, but, um, you know, um, therefore, it says, when we generate compassion, better stay away from, uh, like, a uh, non-virtuous person or like a negative person. Mm. It says that. Avoid. Avoid, yeah, avoid. So, uh, avoid means you are not neglecting them. Your compassion, it is that whoever the non-virtuous person or negative person, it is object of your compassion actually. Observation object of your compassion. You continuously hold by compassion, mm -hmm. but the physically, maybe stay away from them. Mm -hmm. It helps you to generate compassion. So that's the that's just the best training um, to uh, like a, to overcome that kind of fear to stay away from that, right? So not because we don't have a, a capable capacity facing it. You know, they harm to me again. I love. They harm to me again. I love. We cannot do that long because our compassion is not as strong. So therefore, I think just stay away from them until you get. But cherish, continuously cherish inside, in your mind. Always think them, wish better them, right? So, but in physically, yes, just stay away from them. Better not see. So that's uh, um, 
it's a good 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 thing to start, uh, start the general compassion without this kind of fear. The last one is uh, there are some people in life who do not desire com deserve compassion. That kind of people, right? So just stay away. That's that's I think that. For whatever fear here, you have to overcome that kind of fear and continuously, you know, generate compassion. That's uh, that's uh, my thought. All the eyes talking here. Let's continue to generate compassion. Whatever fears come here, what they count is, then try to overcome how. That's what I try to tell mm -hmm. you, right? Okay. Yeah, because it's important. Uh, never stop compassion. <laughs> never stop forgiveness. Uh, just go on and go and go, right? Um, but definitely there are many obstacles here doing that forgiveness continuous all. So, but you just try to overcome that obstacle through by um, skillful way or like a learning other uh, practice, you know, there's many methods. More you have to learn how you can overcome that individual fear and that stuff to which is obscuring, generating my compassion. So this is, I think, fear is related to saying um, compassion for others. Now compassion, oh sorry, oh, compassion from others. Fear of compassion from others, again here counted three things. I'm afraid that if I need other people to be kind, they will not be so. That's one. And then second, I worry that people are only kind and compassionate when they, will, they when they want something from me. Mm -hmm. And then third one, if I think someone is being kind and caring towards me, I put up a barrier. So third one is more uh, possible for us. But first and second, I think it's not that difficult. Do you think it's difficult? It's really weird. I'm after that if I need other people to be kind, they will not be so. You know, <laughs> this is not really, um, uh, I think, I mean, it's like, a, if you have a, that kind of fear, that not that difficult to overcome that kind of fear. Um, like, a, because compassion, again, compassion was saying unconditional, right? Unconditional. So uh, we are not talking that biological compassion, right? That we're talking about the unconditional com com compassion, which is gained through my practice. That unconditional never expects something from others. So that if you have a continuous general compassion, that that itself help you to overcome that fear, because unconditional, you're not expecting anything. So. Um, yeah, again, this, this fear is not that big, I don't think it's, right? Be kind, they will not be so, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> this is one kind of human nature. We cannot expect it. Um, you know, yeah. What really mean is saying here, if I compassion with them, and then, they will not return to me, that's the thing here. I'm offered that if I need other people to be kind. To me or others. What do you think? What do you think? Again, I'm offered that if I need other people to be kind, they will not be so. It's talking to me, right? Other people to me. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that is not, this is not really big fear. Uh, Continuous generate compassion, think more reason, and then itself will overcome that kind of thing. We don't need a separate, some kind of energy for that. That's what I think. And then second, I worry that people are only kind and compassionate. Again, this is normal. Compassion when they want something from me. Yeah, not they, whoever is counted as compassion. Who? But this is not compassion, right? who um, being friend with you, who being nice with you, to expecting something from you, then we're not saying any, this, even this is not the biological compassion. It's nothing compassion. Nothing to do with the compassion. So I don't know why it's counted as like a fear 
compassion for Mother. Um, because it's not compassion. Isn't it? Being nice, every being nice is not compassion. So being nice is pretending because you're expecting something. Compassion never pretends. Even biological compassion, not pretend. So when you love to your children, it's biological compassion. When you love to your friends and uh, like a relative, it's biological compassion. Not pretend. It shows really what you have. It, it goes mixed with a desire, but you sh it totally shows, sincerely shows. So the pretending, you know, this is not counted as compassion. It's cunning, deceiving. Mm -hmm. How can cunning, deceiving associate with the compassion? There's no way. So the second one is, I think nothing to do with compassion. So why count it here as like a fear of compassion? Okay. Does it make sense? <laughs> okay. That's the third one. That's true. That is the third one. So if I think someone being kind and caring towards me, I put up a barrier. Oh. Yeah. That is, yes. That is, I think, yeah. So that maybe we don't know how to receive compassion. We need to learn how to receive compassion. That's true. Yeah. That or, yeah, I'm going to talk. The second one is, I don't think it's nothing to do with, something to do with compassion. It's nothing to do with compassion. Okay. It's totally cunning and deceiving things. Okay. Um, yeah, third one, yes, actually. Uh, so, because immediately, you know, the stranger people, you don't know, right? And they come to you, say, have a tea, or can I help you? What thought comes in your mind? Right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what we say. Wait a minute. Let me think. Who are you? <laughs> you know, that we don't know how to receive compassion. And, um, uh, but, you know, um, like I grew up in India, right? Mm -hmm. And then, but they accept it. They don't know strangers. I mean, do you need it? Uh, can I? Do you need to have a tea? They accept it. Mm -hmm. So, can I help? Yeah, they accept it. Don't know, stranger. Then in immediately they think, oh, you are so nice. Mm. Very, really, very really beginning. But uh, I'm not saying everyone doing it like this, but what I saw many times in India, experience with Indian people, with Tibetan people, I saw that they accept it with the beginning, even the stranger. Mm. So oh, that's nice. this is something you need to think. <laughs> How come? Maybe uh, they are poor and long time looking help, and someone come and help, and then we're happy. Possible, right? Or they understand they're helping. It's possible. There are many possibilities there, but they accept it very Um Maybe they just have a more open heart. Possible, yeah, that is possible. Yeah, more yeah. trusting. Yes, more trusting. That's possible. Yeah. So, but. You know, the how comes that each country and each culture, someone have not easy trust, someone trust. This depends on the environment, isn't it? This depends on environment, how I grew up. Mm -hmm. I see more disabled people, I see more live people, then I cannot trust, right? So, what well, come look at here is um, like a, I'm just taking my experience. My experience is not necessary to, you know, uh, like a, related to the everything. My experience is like a few are related to a few are right. That experience is here. Um, people are more honest actually, <laughs> right? People are more honest. Um, but even people are more honest, they are not accepted the way beginning. And then there, people are more not on, dishonest. 
by the way, if you can accept it, I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it. Um, maybe, um, I don't know what it is actually. Um, it could be you, um, your self centered is too strong. Your ego is too strong. Even you understand they're honest. And uh, not accepting it may be, okay, wait a minute, means you fear. You fear that, okay, it might harm to me, right? You are self-centered, too strong. Uh, it might go wrong to you. So that's one kind of possibility that uh, not accept, not receive compassion well from others. Um, anyhow, but that, you know, it's not like a black and white. It's always... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, whatever here. The second, third one is um, that we try to think uh, continuously compassion, a generous compassion, continuously give love and forgiveness, but um, also, yeah. Actually, I think again, if you are compassion, right? Continuously generate compassion. It's automatically overcome this third fear again, because what when you um, like a generate compassion continues for all being that we say all being right, then whoever you see, your compassion is there. You when your compassion is there, your love is there, right? When your love is there, the person is what doesn't matter whatever is beautiful, because your love is there. When you see it's beautiful, trust easily. That. Generating compassion continuously also is overcoming the third one. Also, learn um, help you to how to receive compassion. This is this is this is important, right? Um, but another another way to say here is is like a nice people, nice even the people like a nice way to reject it, right? Um, and there, like an openness. Right, where you come from, go, go, go. <laughs> That's what they do. But again, no problem with each other. <laughs> so, but um, it's one thing good that nice way to reject it. It's also part of like a action of compassion. That is, I don't want to harm them. I don't want to blame them. Even I don't know, even I have a doubt, even I have a fear. So, I don't want to blame them. It's a compassion action. Right? Mm -hmm. So, um, but we should learn how to receive compassion. This is the third one is more possible obstacle, be, be obscure. Mm -hmm. So, 
So therefore, generating compression continues for all cylinders you know, is help of that kind of. So uh, that's my thought again, right? Yeah, and then third one is the fear of compassion for on self. Let's see what they do. I fear that if I develop compassion for myself, I will become someone I don't want to be. <laughs> because you will become a so nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice people. <laughs> That's that one, right? <laughs> yeah, come on, right? Yeah. So you don't want to be nice people, right? <laughs> so otherwise, compassion only brings you back. Very gentle and nice person. And then what fear there again? Uh, I develop compassion for myself. I will be come someone I don't want to be. I don't understand what it really means. I will be come someone I don't. What do you think? What do you mean? I think it's kind of related to the second thought, though. Okay. You say I will become weak. I will become dependent on something. I will be the one in the other side. Ah, uh, okay. That's what I think. Or the second one, I fear that if I'm more self-compassionate, I will become weak. Or if I'm not, mm -hmm. if, I, if I let myself, um, if I become someone, I don't want to be, you know, if I, if I develop compassion. Mm. That means I think different things. Talks people that who don't have an experience compassion, right. you know. So, you know, at the very beginning, encouragement, the courage of compassion, the courage of compassion here to self and others both. The compassion is actually always courage to you to be continuous to make relationship better. Courage to you face difficult. Compassion actually do that. Courage to you face to difficulty and suffering. And um, the self compassion, how you can become a weak, I don't know. As the being a weak means you are giving up everything yourself. That's the weak. Maybe think that, right? You you are so compassionate to yourself. Then how to become a weak? I don't understand. To compassion others could be you become a weak to you giving up everything, right? But compassion to self, how can you become a weak? I don't know. Do you, do you have any thought on that? I follow, I follow what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, how become a weak? Mm. Because you're not pushing yourself to uh, be competitive and get the best house or the... Oh, uh, okay. The compassion to yourself. Uh, I guess if you're not, you know, if you're not, you know, and I think it's a flawed thing. You know, and I'm not saying mm -hmm. that it's not mm -hmm. right, but it's a flawed thinking that if you're too too kind to yourself, you won't push yourself to to do what you need to do that you need to do. Oh, okay, okay. Still, I don't get it. Too kind to myself. Let's say you want your you, your goal is to earn a million dollars. Okay. And then if you're too fond if you're too compassionate to yourself, like when you don't feel like getting up at six o'clock in the morning to go to work, because um, you have a cold, that you won't reach that goal. So that would be a fear that if you're too compassionate to yourself, you won't attain these worldly goals. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not saying it's like uh, obscured. Who genuinely practice in compassion? Correct. No, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. Correct. So um, that week, uh, then maybe I like to say they don't know how to compassion themselves. Right. <laughs> right? If you become a weak, then you don't know how to compassion yourself. Right. So compassion to self, as our last class I said, like um, as Buddhist way to say, the compassion to self is renunciation. Right? You renounce what brings you suffering. You discuss even its pleasure when it brings you suffering. When you have experience, okay, this is pleasure thing, it brings me suffering. You know it, you have experienced it. Then never go back to take that 
course again to that head you are starting. You try to try to make yourself as much as less suffering. That is compassion to self for us. The renunciation definitely is like a big 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 thing. It's like a maybe uh, beyond our thought and our practice. Uh, but something we can renounce, which is like a really annoying us and causing us suffering at the next end. end. So that if you renounce that, that I count it like a self compassion. Right? Because you cherish yourself. Cherishing self is bring happiness as much as you can. That's cherish yourself, right? And then what causes you to bring more suffering, you should renounce that. You have like a inner breath to renouncing it. So that then really you want suffering, you stop it. And then you gain one happiness. When you stop one suffering and part of that you gain one happiness. So that is self self compassion. So uh, that's how we describe the self compassion. Uh, and then the book, uh, Tutan Jimba, also says the self compassion is that way. Uh, it's not saying like it clearly that way, but it's that way. So other ways, self compassion, I don't know. Self kind, I don't know. So self kind should be try to make self your self make yourself happy. That's the self kind as much as you can. Self kind and self compassion. Um, and other things that who have a depression, anxiety, uh, they don't have a self compassion. They don't have a self love, right? Um, because um, they hold it all the cause of depression. They hold it all cause of anxiety and suffering. They are not self love, compassion. What I'm, I like to say, totally, they don't have a single any single self compassion there. Nothing there. Who have a depression and anxiety? Um, that could be have a compassion to others, but nothing self compassion. So, yeah. The other words, yeah, I don't see uh, the first and second the week uh, or like uh, I will be come someone I don't want to be or I fear that if I'm not more self-compassion, I will become a bit. I don't understand this too. Uh, the word is the third say. I fear that if I start to feel compassion for myself, I will be overcome with the sadness and that's possible. <laughs> that's possible. Uh, I will be overcome oh, it, overcome with sadness and grief. Uh, what does it mean? Like a over sadness thing? Over sadness or you reduce sadness? What thing? They help me to English here. They help me to uh, explain this one. I fear that if I start to feel compassion for myself, I will be overcome with sadness and grief. What does it mean? It means that when you become compassionate for yourself, you will, it, it will bring up a lot of sadness. Oh, over, over sadness. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I, that's the point. Yes, I, I can agree. That's possible. That's very possible. Um, over sadness is a worry. Therefore, in Buddhist when we instruct it to how to generate compassion, before you generate compassion, we talking a lot of suffering things, natural suffering things. Mm -hmm. We talking a lot of uh, things that which you cannot, uh, like uh, as said, you cannot fix it. Uh, you cannot avoid it. There, there, there are many lot of natural suffering things. Someone having that's the one say that all this comes from uh, karma. You are all suffering. All other people suffering comes from their own karma, then that they're having resolved for their own action, then how I can fix it? This is their karma. Mm -hmm. They're having suffering. Mm -hmm. But I can generate compassion to stop fusion, mm -hmm. that kind of suffering. That's the only we deal with. The compassion dealing with um, looking at the present suffering and then, you know, compassion because uh, the, the present suffering is too much tolerance torturing them, right? And then it brings us thought, I wish, I wishing right now to overcome that suffering, which is kind of impossible, but I wish I can help more future. 
So let them teach more. Let them um, do more practice. Let them, uh, you know, try to help them build more positive mind. Uh, many people might help, right? So that's more try to solve future suffering, seeing present suffering. But the present suffering, it's not that much doable. It's not that much um, like it's avoidable, right? So, um, but it help us to help them to solve future suffering. But understanding that kind of thing, then uh, sadness is not overcome because you understand. That's the way we instruct it. Okay, first learn this all natural suffering, which you can do, which you cannot do. So, and then learning this all natural suffering, especially we call <coughs> the pervasive suffering. The pervasive suffering is not painful suffering, not unpleasant suffering, but it's called suffering because of the seed of suffering. The pervasive suffering, uh, it's everyone has it. So understanding that kind of things, then definitely help you to um, that less sadness and warning. Generating continuous generating compassion, less sadness because these things I cannot do right now. It's it's just already happening now, right? It's already happening, you know. So when you have uh, like a pimple here, it's already happening. But the part of painting right now, what I can do is, but I can. Finish is faster. I can do like a not people have again. That's thing I can do. What's painful right now? What's painful right now at the moment? I do nothing. Do I? They already feel right. So, um, but you can say, okay, I can reduce the pain. It's future, not the moment. So that moment painting is you do nothing. Right? They they already have experience. It's, and when you try to go, it's past. It's it's past like this. So something that you can do. That's that understanding that kind of things has really helped us to uh, less sadness and worry, and then facing continuous regenerative compassion. But as I said at the beginning, it's really possible as we are beginner practitioner of compassion. It's definitely sadness worry overcome. But you will have to more pay attention here, this fear, than others. Um, the two fears that I think you need more pay attention, we need to actually, I would be very happy. So, that here, I say, there are some people in life who do not deserve compassion, that we need more. And then here, I fear that uh, if I start to feel compassion myself, I will be overcome with this sadness as well. Yeah, these two, I think we need to think more. And um, there's some something else obscured in there uh, to when you generate compassion. But you will know time by time when you practice it. You will never know if you're not practice it. Okay? So that's that's the thing. Okay. And a few lines I will read it here. Is having compassion for others does not mean people earn accountable for their actions. Important. And then forgiving someone does not mean forgetting. That's uh, his only Dalai Lama said. As, as the Dalai Lama often reminds us, forgiving someone does not mean forgetting. We should, and then again, continuously saying here, uh, forgiveness is for the person, not for his or his or her deeds. The simple idea is powerfully captured in the uh, Christian gen uh, Christian injunction that we should love the sinner, but hate the sin. Mm -hmm. You know, make it stop it, right? Love the sinner, hate the sin, and then forgiveness to person, not the deed. So make it stop it their actions and then who doing that action. We always, every second, continuously have compassion to person, never ever stop having compassion to person by their seeing their by their seeing their uh, their action. Because make it separate. So that was we one thing we said it here. When you see the, some actions, always think what is the source of that action. Right? One, 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 analy one analy analyzing 
uh, said like, uh, you never angry to stick, which is his to you. So you angry to person. That's also wrong. You showing anger is wrong. If you really want to show anger, you should show the anger to stick. So this is attached to your body, but person is not. But finally, it goes cause source and source. The final source is the intention or their anger. Their anger is overcome. Their jealousy is overcome. Then gives you that that action comes from jealousy and anger, but not the person. But yes, person holds that anger and jealousy. Doesn't matter. Person holds the stick. So I said. So um, mm. that analy that analytic analyzing thing that I very much like to uh, is how to overcome anger, you know. So therefore, make it separate the person and deed. Show anger over the deed, or you can show anger to the thoughts instead of deed, but never in the middle. The person is the middle. Source is here, person is here, deed is here. Person is middle. But we never show the anger to source and deed. Always show the per uh, anger to person in the middle. <laughs> Why is it? That's the, uh, you know, um, you need to think. So these are, I think, um, for quite help us to understand compassion and how to help. And then uh, reading these fear things, some are reasonable or uh, impossible. Mm -hmm. There will also think how can overcome, not let the obscure to generate generate my compassion continuously. And then next two things, uh, I'm not really reading it. So it's a pride, the false god, and that's a culture of kindness, letting go of our resistance. This is also also is important. You should read it. Okay, letting go of our resistance. Page sixteen. And then building our compassion, muscular compassion, uh, with compassion cultivation at Saint Paul University. Okay, so this all this uh, I'm not reading, but this is I thought more important to understand. And then next we go to training our mind and his uh, heart, training our mind and heart. Right? It's a mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, any question? Any suggestion? Any opinion? Can you talk a little bit more about, uh, you know, depression and and anxiety are, are, are big in this country. Uh -huh. You know, many people are on medication for yeah. depression and anxiety. Um, but you said that there is no not self -com self compassion yeah. when you have depression and anxiety. Yeah. Explain that a little more. Yeah, um, <clears throat> you know that what my self compassion is to try um, bring more benefit to yourself, and then you seeing it, I'm not having benefit to you know worrying about the depression and anxiety comes from worry and sadness. Mm -hmm. yeah. The worry when you begin to worry is something like uh, you lost your job or you losing your house or you are being separated from someone. Uh, the present or that past. So these are future. Yeah. A lot of anxiety comes from future. Yeah. I'm future. worried about. Yeah. What will happen when? Oh yeah. So that things. Um, I'm afraid I might lose my job. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's therefore um, these are the worry, sadness uh, that brings you anxiety. At the very beginning, you see now you having worry. Now you having sadness. Even you seeing it, even you understand it, but you continue to hold it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the not benefiting to you. That you know. Sometimes that's true. We not seeing it because sadness overcomes. We are not seeing it because like a worry is overcome. Mm -hmm. But we should prefer it today. Prefer it today. Okay. When sadness comes, I shouldn't hold it. When worries come, I shouldn't hold it. So thinking this and that. So if even you know this all, but you continue holding or you continue let it cause you to more worry and sadness, you definitely not love to yourself. Right. You're more torturing to yourself, right? So you're more harming to yourself. That's you know it. This is the cause. Okay, makes me make me something. 
makes me like uh, unhappy. I know it, but I still I think it. Still mm -hmm. I hold it. That's the part I said, not compassion, okay. because you're harming yourself, not bringing benefit to yourself. That's it. Yeah. Meditation. Meditation, yeah. Meditation is Meditation. important. Yeah. It is, yeah. Not easy to overcome. Very true. It takes time, actually. It takes time. But one thing what we do is, before we meditate, before we engage practice, we cultivate, we uh, analyze love. Right? We um, like a um, contemplating love on compassion. Make sure it is help in my life. That's how we have to begin. Before you engage, you have to make sure it's help. So when you see it's help, this is the, the best path. Mm -hmm. Then you will never go back to, you know, you will never stop doing practice. Because you see, now this is the best path. You see from your inside, not just from here, right? So now for help, you just see from your heart. So then, no problem. Then since then, practicing compassion is no problem. Therefore, before practice compassion, we always um, telling them, okay, learning more. Then you have to make sure it is the right path. You have to make sure it is definitely help. There are no other ways there, right? When you see that there are not other ways there, this is the only way definitely help, then no problem with facing it, no problem with practicing it. That's how we need to put Then we study more and then we have to make sure. That's the that's dream. And then meditation, uh, that intention will bring you meditation. Do it again and again and again, right? And then uh, never try it because you have a really interest in that. So otherwise, you roughly know, it said that, let me test. It said that, let me see. I don't know that much, but let me do practice. You know, then you're doing it, and then it's quite difficult. It's just sitting, it's also painful everywhere in the body. And then my, my try mind, focus on compassion, then it goes all, all over the world again. A lot of obstacles obstacle there. Then you might think, why well, I'm treasuring myself? Give up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why well, need compassion? Give up. That all will come. If you're not understand clear, if you're not make sure in the way beginning, that all will come. This is more danger than uh, takes time for study more. Because when that all comes, you never study study. Mm -hmm. Right? You never try to study. Oh, this is not easy. You never open group this. Way beginning, before you engage, before hard work, you know, understand clear, then never stop. That is the, the best method which would teach to us. You know, investigate, make sure, come today, and then you go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And then one more question? Oh, yes. Somebody else has a question. I, can look I don't know. Do you have any question who is online? I don't have a question, but this was a wonderful meeting. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I don't have any questions either, Gesula. Thank you. Oh, right, yeah, thank you. Okay. I've got a question, but don't worry. can you define <laughs> compassion for me in regards? I think I'm empathetic. I don't think I'm compassionate. Okay. What's the difference? Empathetic and compassionate? I think I have empathy. I don't, uh -huh. I, I don't quite understand the difference. Yeah. But here, you know, uh, when, when we talk compassion, I'm not talking about it. Okay. Okay. Biological compassion always goes with uh, uh, empathy. It's, I'm not counting as compassion. I'm counting more empathy. Okay. But, you know, people, if people accept that way, that, but I do have a compassion because I love my children. I do have a compassion because I love my animal, right? Um, my animal, my children, too limited there, right? So therefore, I'm not counted as like compassion. It's counted as empathy. And then empathy is really, empathy is key. But I have empathy for stranger. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I do. I do. Not all strangers, but I have empathy when something 
horrible happened, and, and, and I have yes. to listen to those people. Yes. You have an empathy, only you see suffering. Yeah. When you see suffering, at the moment you have empathy. Yeah. When you see people happy, enjoy, no empathy there. It's not right? needed, is it? <laughs> when people they, they're not suffering right now, mm -hmm. but they hold suffering. Mm -hmm. They're not seeing from suffering. Mm -hmm. Right? Or they enjoy it, but we don't know inside what's happening. Mm -hmm. Right? They are suffering inside, they come from suffering. Possible, right? So many possible. Whatever we 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 just make sure we don't need to guess. They, hold the they do hold the suffering, pervasive suffering. They do hold the um the like a seed of suffering, which is body and mind. Because body is ready for having pain, right? The one side is your problem because you hold that body easily having pain. Then people hit the stake, you have not pain. 50% is your fault. 50% is their fault. Because you have having pain because you hold that body. Right? Yeah, I, I, I get that, yeah. <laughs> so the compassion is kind of like a, whenever you see uh, the synthetic being, it doesn't matter if they are enjoying or suffering, or suffering or suffering or changing or suffering, whatever suffering, empathetic, should be equal there. Some feelings should be equal there. Right? And then no condition, no expectation. No, that's so that we describe more compassion. But only can gain through by practice. Nothing automatically. So there are no way to have that compassion automatically. What we have right now without any practice, just as it's not compassion. The compassion is unbiased mind. Right? That's one thing. Compassion is unbiased mind. Is there any bias as negative thought? Compassion cannot be biased. Right? So, and then, is there any, like a, like a, um, yeah, the, uh, mainly is the unbiased, right? An expedition, purely love, equally for all sentient being, from creature, from like insect to human being, equally. That's so compassion. Are we talking about equanimity now? Equanimity is the basic fundamental of compassion. Okay, mm -hmm. so it doesn't come all at once. So, for instance, mm -hmm. as everybody knows, I like animals, uh -huh. and what has happened since. I come here is I learned to like more animals that I didn't like before. So now I don't only really take care of the boxes, I take care of all the animals. I see know, that. Whether I like them or not. I see that you walk up, you walk with us before this. Yes. You will not go there, right? right. And <laughs> yeah. not even, even, even insects, which, which before I just couldn't stand. So uh -huh. I, what I'm saying is, does it come in levels or does it come all at once? I'm not understanding. A common level. Level. It's slowly, it's slowly. It's so good. because I like insects, yeah. I'm getting, yeah. well, I don't like them, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> 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 I, don't, you know, I don't kill them, and I try to save them when I can, and I don't, like, automatically get trained. Okay. Uh, the, would that be enough? Yeah, it is something, it's something, oh. yes, it's something. Okay. It's something, okay. it's something better. Okay. Uh, good foundation. Okay. So that's how we need to build, okay. you know. So but it doesn't come all at once. Because it yeah, might be not they call me names because they tell me that like, I'm a phony because mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm not all like loving and mm -hmm. calm mm -hmm. and this and that. And I don't think it all I'm not enlightened. Yes, so yes, it doesn't yes. come all at once. Yes, no, no. And then I like to add here, so without practicing, never it never increase this level. Mm -hmm. You know, without practicing nothing. Right? So and then practicing makes you go on and on. And it depends on the study, as I said. Before you practice, you have to make sure you understand clear. Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how we need to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. And then have a nice day with a sunny day. Okay. That's all. <laughs> Where will you be in Bethel? Uh, Bethel Library. Okay. Bethel Library. <laughs> it's 2 to 3.30. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. Have a nice day, Sean.
Thank you, Geshe. Have a great day.